Well, we now know Vincent Tabak's version of events on what happened the night that he killed Joanna Yates in a space of about 40 minutes inside court number one here in Bristol. His defence barrister, Bill Clegg, outlined exactly his version of events. He said their meeting that night was unplanned and pure chance. Vincent left his flat, was walking towards his car when he passed Joe's window. Her blind was up, the light was on, Joanna was in there. She looked up and saw Vincent. He noticed her. There was a nod or an acknowledgement. She beckoned for him to come in. She opened the door and invited him in. All the evidence confirmed, says Bill Clegg, he must have been invited in. There is no question of any forced entry. He went into her flat because he opened the door and invited him in. He took off his coat, hung it on the coat rack. She offered him a drink. He declined the drink, introduced himself and chatted as neighbours would, said Bill Clegg. She said her boyfriend was away. He said his girlfriend was away. As they talked, Vincent Tabak completely misread the situation he'd walked into. Joanna was being sociable. He made a move towards her as if to kiss her on the lips, put one hand behind her back to draw her closer. She screamed. It was a loud, piercing scream. He panicked. He put her hand over her mouth to stifle her scream and said to her, stop screaming, and apologised. He took his hand away and she carried on screaming. He panicked, put her hand over her mouth, and in seconds, Joanna was dead.